but I'll say hi. How are ya? This is Jenny from CraftTestDummies.com and today I have a craft haul for you. Um, so, the thing is, now I am all about the napkins. So I shared those four techniques on Periscope and on YouTube and I have an idea. I'm doing some videos for Faber-Castell um, and it's their Just Add Imagination channel. It's their kids channel for kids crafts. So I'm doing one of those a month for them now. And I had an idea to make a puzzle with craft sticks and napkins, but of course I needed some like kid appropriate napkins. So I went to the dollar store and the beautiful thing about the dollar store is that they're a dollar, right? So you get a million napkins, it's super cheap, but I wanted to show you some of the things I bought at the dollar store that are craft related. So I did get some paper napkins. Now these are party napkins, so they're a nice big size. So you can actually coat a lot of card or puzzle with this and there are 20 of them here a buck i'm gonna throw them on the floor when i'm done what if i wanted to do something more themey happy birthday perfect for a card remember that glitter technique well bam perfect a dollar how about something just generally springy and floral super cute a dollar don't love the boys out or the girls who love superheroes geeks unite and i like this one too because you have both this border idea and then you have your center image so you can get a lot of goodie out of these here's another birthday this is kind of the over the hill birthday idea but i thought that they were really great again you can cut this out and put it on a tag put it on a card front you can use the uh candles or the sentiment or both so I thought that was fun and then for just some like general mixed media I picked up some flamingos for a dollar I picked up this look at this isn't this gorgeous it says Maison Blanc and I don't know what else let me see how big they are these are like 24 uh, techniques Tawny says I didn't catch all of your techniques where do I find them go to YouTube and search craft test dummies because that's who I am and I just put it up this morning it's eight minutes eight minutes four techniques and they're all things that you can do I also put up a blog post so if you subscribe to craft test dummies blog you'll also see links to all the products I used but look how gorgeous this is I mean and you get four of them on one page which is kind of great right okay so there's that and then last but not least I got a hula girl I thought she was fun I thought that would be just a lot of fun for decoupaging so were really fun um, they had some of these tassels for graduates now this is a key ring but it is a nice tassel it was a dollar let me take it out of the packaging just so I can show you. So it says 2016, but you can take that off and put anything you want. So yeah, these were actually a Dollar Tree. Um, we In my area, I have a Dollar Tree. And you got one for your son last year. That's awesome. By the way, I just got an alert from Facebook that popped down that somebody has asked to join. So yay, ask to join because it's a fun group. Um, but think about this, you could use this on a bunch of different crafts. I think, you know, if you took off the 2016, it would actually be a, like a cute necklace. So I also picked up some of these little favors, and these are three tin pails for a dollar. And they're already painted white. They also had some in different colors. I just picked up the white, and I didn't see the um, if they had any galvanized ones. But they're for favors, and I am going to be working with a company making some wedding favors for them on YouTube. So I thought they would be really cute to embellish for wedding favors. Speaking of wedding favors, by the way, yeah, three for a dollar. So 33 cents. You can have a lot of fun with that. So also they had wedding bubbles. Now these could be also used for graduations. You could embellish them. Uh, like my daughter is actually graduating from fifth grade. So the last day all the parents line up and we clap them out. I'm gonna pass out some bubbles and you can embellish these really cute. And you know, eight of them for a dollar. 
how much fun is that for like a little party favor? Um, I also got a little candle that I'm going to embellish and give as a teacher's gift for a dollar. It smells nice too. You know, sometimes dollar store candles aren't great, but this smells nice. And then just because I wanted to try it, they had multi-purpose spray adhesive. This can, a dollar. So I do love a spray adhesive now and then. It's not the kind of thing I use every day, but when you don't want something to wrinkle and you're adhering paper to like foam core board, especially when I'm doing those kind of projects, I like a spray adhesive. Now, since we were just doing those one little tags, um, you know how I use often to get, let's see, where my little tag go? When you are trying to get the tag to lay smooth and you do not want wrinkles, often I'll use Xyron, but you could just as easily use a spray adhesive. This, um, the spray adhesive was in the floral crafting aisle. Um, Angie says, put napkins on the candle and hit it with a heat gun to adhere it. Yes, I've done that as well. And that's fun. I have a, I think I already have a video. Oh, except I use Mod Podge. I used Mod Podge to adhere mine. Um, but this was in our Dollar Tree. There is an aisle that has candles and then like rocks and pebbles and floral arranging vases and faux flowers and floral foam and wires and that's where I found the spray adhesive and yeah it's a little it's a little bottle I figure I haven't tried this brand because it's you know graphics brand which I don't even know where graphics brand comes from but for a buck I'll try it out right so now I have some napkins and some bubbles and some pails and some adhesive and I'm gonna go over and get crafting. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Periscope rebroadcast. Make sure you follow me at Craft Test Dummy over there so you can see them live and participate. Thanks for watching and have a crafty day.